Hey, oh, my fantastic artistic numismatic friends, Master Temple here. Happy days. Great. I've got some paint on my fingers, but don't worry about that. That's another story for another video. Right, what I've got here. Now, I became uh, a member of several. Let's focus. There we go. There we go. Right, I'm. I'm uh, memberships on um, Coin Tuber channels. I'm members of most of them, I think. Uh, so, so when Matt from Coins and More UK says I'm doing some memberships, uh, I thought, oh, I'll. He's one of my good buddies, so I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go, you know. And 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 I did. And and then I think he sends these out to everybody that's a member of his, of his. Um, he'll he'll put you in right, in right direction. I have absolutely no idea what I'm waffling on about, but. Just, just as a, a thank you for being a member, sent me whatever this is, and I believe it's, it's he's sent it to all his members. It says there to the talented Dan. I've had to scribble out the the fine tuning of the 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 promised land, but so I said I'll definitely open it on a video. He says don't you don't have to open it on a video, but I said no, I will do, I will do. So here we go. Now, I'm going to snip off this corner, little tiny fishing scissors. Now, the stuff that Coin Patrol sent me, if you remember, I won his giveaway, Coin Patrol's giveaway. That will appear in a video very soon. I've got a couple more projects on the way, but it does include fishing and fishing scissors. Look at that. I just made a right go for that. I hope I can cut her throat. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. It's only hot me in an envelope. Right. Look at this. Just make sure we are completely empty. Sir Dansky. Thank you for becoming a member on my channel. And welcome to the new Snore Crew. Your support is greatly appreciated. Please enjoy your lucky bag. Matt. That's obviously his signature. Hashtag happy days. Hashtag big cup, my friend. Ah, look. It's popped a, a Royal Mint postcard. I might have to paint on that. I'm, I'm absolutely... <laughs> snipped it there, didn't I? Um, I wonder if that's it. Like a jigsaw. Right, anyway. Uh, stop waffling on them. Um, I'm out of... I'm out of postcards. I used to send them out, didn't I? But things being how they are... We can't get in, so yes, it's reasonably priced. I think his memberships as well. But I try and support everybody out there. It's a great community, is the Coin Shoeververse, and uh, I, I do try and, and, and watch as many videos as I can. Obviously, it's not always possible with time and everything, but but yeah, just a little bit of support. Oh yeah, what have we here? So again, I love the professionalism of Matt. Really, I mean, he does go into some detail, putting putting stickers on little bags and wrapping them up so the naughty posty can't can't break them loose. Right, let's get into this one. There's a little tiny slit there, so it's opening up. Let's open it up. Now, if these are world coins, I've got absolutely no idea what could be in. Yep, the world coins. <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me. Let's get rid of some of this, these snippings. All right, so let's have a quick scout through. There's a nice stack of coins, actually. What's this? Ten. Right, let's zoom in. So I can read it. Ten. Oh. What's that going to be? Gros... Gros... Grozzy... Grozny... From Poland. I know that because it says Polska on it. Brilliant, Matt. Let's pop you there. Right, now this one... I... Do not recognise this one either. So, absolutely... Absolutely no idea what that is that. That looks like 
that looks like the big you can you remember the gladiators from the uh, from the 90s and they had that big massive inflatable earbud that they eat each other with and tried to knock them off a plinth that looks like that with, with the mat with the I don't know I don't know Now I am very naive and I am tempted to say it's 1999 but you know that could be way up well it will be because I have absolutely no idea about world coins. I've seen this one before, 10, 10 francs. So that's obviously francs coin. French, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm not that green am I? Right now this is a lovely shaped coin, what's this one? It says zero on it. Again, you could, you could, oh, I don't know. Oh, look at that. He's got the Christophez on. It's the Christophez coin. <laughs> oh, what does it say now? Uh, Zlotty, one Zlotty. Let's get you in the middle. One Zlotty, is it Zlotty? And this is another one from, uh, is it, it is Polska? Pols, is it? I, 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 now I'm just, I've got to the point where I'm making random words up now. Oh, that's a grand coin, isn't it? I don't know what this one is, but it's, it looks grand. Republica de Chile. So it's Chilean. One, one peso from 1978. Now I remember this one as a kid. We got these when we went to, you know, south of Spain. And I always thought that this looked like a guitar. Uh, the guitar neck is obviously the eagle's head and the cutouts there are the, the beginnings of the wing. I, as a child, I thought that was a guitar. It's only till later. You know, it's the eagle, and it's uh, it's Spanish, Hispanic, Espanol. Dos Grande beer, por favor. I think that's the best I can get out of Spain. Now that's a grand one, isn't it? That's that's shoot, super duper shiny, Italiana. So that'll be Italy. Italy. Oh, here we go. We've got the blacksmith there. We've got the blacksmith there. No regard to health and safety. And me being an health and safety professional. Ooh. Wouldn't be too happy if he were doing that sort of carry ons on in my workshop. Get some of these on. PPE. Right, what's this one? Oh, that, that's an old one, isn't it? Look at that, look at the date on that. What's that say? Fifty-six. Uh... Again, if, if you've got any info on these folks, just let me know, because I'm absolutely, absolutely no idea. I think Matt's done this on purpose just to torment me, because he knows I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can only just decipher English coins, let alone, and British coins. I don't know where this one's from. Yeah, I've seen something very similar before. Um, that could be 1856, but I, no, it looks like a seven. I don't know. Very intriguing. Looks like he's got a little cap on, doesn't he? I say he, he could be a she, but then again, Bearded could be a bearded lady, you never know. And the last one, another little oh, look at this one. This is a very tiny, dinky one. Again, it's got that scalloped edge, looks like a scallop you get out at North Sea. When you eat your scallop, you've got yourself a little ashtray as well. Afterwards, what's this one? Hong Kong 20 cent from 1978. That's an absolute belter, absolute belter. Right, so thank you, Matt. Yep, so go check out Matt. He'll give you some more info on his, his memberships and stuff. Because um, I'm sure 
everybody in the coin tube reverse will do but yeah i thought i gotta open it on camera and have a quick scout through what is it 10 coins there some brilliant ones my favorite my favorites here is either the scalloped christophers from the live streams those who know they know or the the hong kong scalloped one as well but possibly this this one because it's just intriguing i don't know what it is so that's one for research i don't do research much into coins i'm but i ought to do really i ought to get no miss me up and running and i'm no miss well i can't even say it no miss again it's another word i can't run it but it's another word i cannot say right okay folks until next time thank you map happy days everybody do take care of your son. We'll see you all later. Take care now. Bye-bye.